Listen, I know what you're thinking from the title and thumbnail. Like, Bengal, who's a Giants fan, so you probably already knew this, but I lost my mind, right? That happened a long time ago. This is just one idea in the many, <laughs> maybe swing and miss as you'll see across the Madden NFL 22 year. This is rebuilding a team full of Jalen's. However, as you'll notice, Solomon Kinley and Robert Hunt are not named Jalen. Even Mike Kosicki's not named Jalen. However, pretty much every single other person on this team, even Michael Dieter, there's not a lot of Jalen's on the offensive line, believe it or not. We got Jalen Moore at left tackle, Jalen Mayfield at right tackle, Jalen Waddle, and all these guys, by the way, spell Jalen differently. This is Jalen Moore. This is Jalen Mayfield, but no Y. This is Jalen Mayfield or Jalen Waddle with a Y in for Jalen. And it gets even stranger. Jalen Guyton, Jalen Darden, Jalen Hurd, Jalen Richard, Jalen Hurts. We got a lot of Jalen. Jalen Samuels. He's going to start at fullback for right now. You've seen some interesting ways to spell Jalen, but it's mainly been J-A-L-E-N, J-A-Y-L-E-N, right? Or J-A-Y-L-O-N. The defense, shit hits the fan. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, guys just don't care about any type of principles of the English language at all. They just go wild. Jalen Phillips is J-A-E-L-A-N for Jalen. Very quickly, you can use code Bangle on SeatGeek, S-E-A-T-G-E-E-K. Find it in the App Store. Whenever you're buying tickets for anything, use code Bengal. You'll save $20. I'm not saying go out of your way, right? But if you're going to go to a baseball game, football game, basketball, concert, anywhere that you're going to buy a ticket for, if you're going to already, use code Bengal and save yourself some money. Why not? We have Jalen Johnson's Jalen, Jalen Jelks, Jalen Twyman. Look at Jalen Holmes. J-A-L-Y-N. That's not even the strangest one on the team. Let's go to free safety here. Look at J. Lynn Hawkins. J-A-Y-L-I-N-N. -N. There's a lot of different things going on. Jalen Thompson, Jalen Watkins at strong safety. We got Jalen Smith, Jalen Reeves-Mabin, Jalen Ferguson, Jalen Jelks, we didn't mention him, Jalen Ramsey, Jalen Johnson, Jalen Mills, Jalen Collins. Uh, you're going to be shocked by this guy's name, but it's actually... Jalen Davis. Everyone's name is Jalen that plays in the NFL pretty much, and even in some cases doesn't play in the NFL. But I don't know what this video is going to be. I'm going to try and hold on to every Jalen, obviously, but I have every Jalen that plays in the NFL for the most part. So we're going to rely on these custom draft classes or these, uh, these auto-generated draft classes, I should say. We need some players named Jalen to pop up. We're going to see how this team can evolve and progress and develop. It's going to be an interesting one. So make sure you watch along and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any other crazy ideas like this, let me know down in the comment section below. Because I don't think there could be an odder one than a team full of Jalens. Yeah, oh, what about a team full of guys named John? Wow, great original idea. Or named Mike or Steve. Not a lot of Steves in the NFL. But anyway... Um, I guess we'll go ahead and simulate to the midseason mark to see what's going on. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There isn't much I can do in this other than wait for guys to be in the draft and just seeing how these guys are going to develop. Jalen Hurts could be a legit QB1, though. I'm really hoping he develops. We need big things from him. We do have some big pieces here. Like, we have the best corner in the NFL in Jalen Ramsey. We have what I think can be the best receiver in the NFL in this Madden 22 rebuild in Jalen Waddle. I'm clearly a very large fan of him. Some of these other positions are pretty weak, though. And I started with the Dolphins, so we do have Mike Kosicki, Solomon Kinley, Robert Hunt. I'm going to try and replace those guys absolutely as soon as possible. But as you can see, like, a Landon Roberts, his name's not secretly Jalen, right? So some of these guys, like, as the CPU signed some guys, some of these guys need to be replaced absolutely as soon as possible. So I'm going to work on trying to do that. You just had to make sure that Phil rosters turned off now because I had released a bunch of players. It didn't let me release guys like Mike Kosicki or Solomon Kendley, etc. But I had released Christian Wilkins and I had released Javon Holland and the CPU is like, mm, we're going to sign him back. So we're in kind of a tough spot with that. Jason Sanders didn't even talk about special teams, but he's like, he's as close as we're going to get to a kicker for Jalen. So happy accident there. 
And then, of course, Jalen Pilardi at punter. I've spent the last 10 minutes probably looking for Jalen Collins. I have no idea where he is. He's not on my team anymore. He's not in free agency. He's not, and I released a lot of guys. I can't release anybody else. We're going to go under the minimum roster size allowed. But I cannot find Jalen Collins at all. It's entirely frustrating. In the last week of the preseason, the CPU is like, we're going to release everybody, which I don't. I have that to not being turned on, but they're just like, we're going to do it anyway. Like it says we released Jalen Collins. Jalen Collins does not exist in the game anymore. I don't know what happened to him. Now, this is a name I was not familiar with. Bo, Lil Bo Pete? Who, who is this? Bo Pete Keys? I don't remember watching him at Tulane. I don't think I'd forget a name like Bo Pete. That's, that's something else, huh? But I don't understand it. Like, they're not on practice squads. They're not in free agency. I'm not sure how I'm going to find these guys. It's Jalen Davis as well. But there's Javaris Davis. That's not Jalen Davis. There's no Jalen Collins on a practice squad either. I'm telling you, I've checked NFL rosters. I've checked free agency. I've checked different positions, safeties, in case they got moved for some reason. They don't exist anymore. It's very odd. Anyway, we're four and three. I got to re-sign every Jalen that's going to try and leave. I'm going to lock them up long term. And there are a few of them. Jalen Samuels, Jalen Holmes, Jalen Guyton, Jalen Richard, Jalen Reeves-Mabin. Man, imagine re-signing these guys. This team sucks. So we got Jalen Guyton, Jalen Holmes, Jalen Samuels back. The rest are not named Jalen or we can't negotiate with them just yet. Playoff time. Are we going to make the playoffs? The team of Jalen's finished 6-11, and 11, so no. Which I guess isn't exactly entirely shocking, considering we are limited to only guys named Jalen. However, Jalen Hurts. What are, the, what are these numbers? Did I break the game? Jalen Hurts led the league in passing yards at... 2,100 yards? What ha what happened here? I mean, Tyreek Hill led the league in touchdowns with four, yards with 657. What's going on? Okay, it's not broken anymore. I'm crazy confused. <laughs> Jalen Rager at 1,200 yards, six TDs. Uh, I hate to see a guy like Mike Kosicki. Looks like a Jalen, though. He could pass. Jalen Smith had 128 tackles, 6 for loss. Jalen Ferguson had 12 tackles for loss, along with Jalen Twyman. Jalen Holmes had 11. Quarterback sacks, 9.5 for the rookie Jalen Phillips. Ah, Christian, you, whatever. Jalen Ramsey had 7 picks. Jalen Hawkins and Jalen Mills in there as well. But yeah, I mean, no, no playoffs for us, so... We're just going to go ahead and simulate to the offseason. We can't do anything in free agency unless for some reason there's some Jalen's that go in there. The top left tackles in the draft are Jay Sun. That's not quite it. Joshua Jake. Three J names and none are what we need. I'm hoping there are some J names or some Jalen's in the draft. It There just might not be though. So I don't want to say it's unlikely, but it certainly not a given only star dev for jalen phillips didn't get upgraded we'll move him up to a 77 overall we need these guys to get upgraded big time like that is going to be so important to actually have this team be any bit competitive 2021 season recap sam darnold wins super bowl mvp with the panthers camara mvp and offensive player of the year mike mccarthy coach of the year ad gets defensive player of the year matt jones offensive rookie of the year and jalen phillips Gets defensive rookie of the year. We like to see that. But we need to bring back the rest of the Jalen's that we couldn't negotiate with earlier in the season, including Jalen Reeves-Mabin, including other guys named Jalen in there, probably. Jalen Jeltz, Jalen Hurd, Jalen Richard, and Jalen Reeves-Mabin, as we said earlier. Yeah, all right. I've been signing these guys to seven-year deals. The money really doesn't matter because like, we're going to need to keep them anyway. It's not like we can sign big-name free agents unless they're named Jalen somehow. And, like, what are the odds of... Richard's going to test free agency. We're absolutely going to bring him back at some point. I could even franchise tag him. In fact, I probably will. But, like, the odds of these guys 
like regressing and us needing the money is non-existent. It's not going to happen. So everyone gets seven-year deals. I mean, they hurt to offer me as uh, what I usually do. Offering that much money to Jalen Hurd is frustrating to even do. And then now franchise tagging Jalen Richard, like one year, 10 mil for Jalen Richard. Are you serious? Why would I ever do that? This video is why. Okay, so I'm gonna look and see if we can find anyone named Jalen that I missed earlier. And hopefully Jalen Collins and Jalen Davis are in here somewhere. Although I find it unlikely, but I am gonna look anyway, just to be thorough. Jalen Watkins somehow sneaked off the team. So we're gonna bring him back. Good thing I was thorough. Would have missed Jalen Watkins, one of the better DBs we have access to. That is sad. Got Jalen Watkins back. He didn't accept week one. I'm like, Jalen, who are you kidding? You're like a 67 overall and you're 30. I gave you a seven year contract when no one's gonna pay you anything. So we're gonna pick here at number 15. I will obviously trade up to whatever pick we have to if there's a Jalen near the top of the board. But I'm going to look through the entire class, and hopefully there's at least one Jalen somewhere. I don't care how it's spelled, and there's a quarterback, Jalen Stamper. We have this exact player in Jalen Hurts already. 5'11", <laughs> decent athlete. Is Jalen Hurts 5'11"? He's definitely not. He's like 6'2". But uh, he's 6'1", he's listed at, but all right. Jalen Stamper, already premature welcome to the team. Jalen Vincent, we got a running back. Yeah, I figured Jalen would be a kind of popular name, Jalen Trapp. These guys aren't particularly great, but the fact that we found three Jalens looking through two positions so far, it's pretty good, pretty encouraging. This dude's name is Adonis. That's so sick. This one's close, but not quite Jaden. Need an L, which is what we're taking with this video. 11 in season one, not good. We got a tight end, Jalen Stevens. Mike Kosicki's gone. Guess what? We actually got a tight end. He sucks, by the way. It's green because he's actually a seventh round guy, but he's also a late seventh round guy. It's not encouraging. Another offensive lineman, Jalen Wooden. He looks terrible. That's going to be great for us. Was hoping there would be a corner named Jalen up pretty high. Once again, close with Jaden Bennett. It's just not quite there. No Jalen's at corner, unfortunately. I mean, corner's a good position for us. It's probably the best position on the team. Like, receiver's close, but I think corner's like definitely the best. So we're going to go ahead and draft a bunch of Jalen's here. Shockers, no kickers or uh, punters in there named Jalen. But we have five draftable Jalen's. We're going to be able to get them all. We know only about one of them for his true talent. This draft class is going to be so bad. I'm excited. All right, let's see our first pick. This is going to be... It's going to be so bad. All right. Jalen Stamper, we're going with a QB. Show me something special. Wow, 61 overall. It's a reach by 300 and... Just 301 spots. He's got 84 throw power. He's got 82 speed. 89 acceleration. But you know what? I can't even say we got a good backup. We have we have a backup. Round two, we should be able to get everybody. I don't think I'll have to move around the board at all. Let's go with Jalen Vincent, the running back. 68 overall, not too bad. <laughs> Rank number 122, took him at 37. Pretty good value there. He changed his directions pretty well. Good acceleration, good agility. Nice catching. Yeah, not the best player, but you know what? We do need good depth. I'll take that. Jalen Stevens, tight end. Here we go. 64 overall. That's our new starting tight end. What does he do well? He accelerates. He, as fast as he can possibly get up to being terrible, he does it really, really quickly. 88 acceleration. Gotta love that. Jalen Trapp, another running back. Man, he is also brutally bad. <laughs> 62 overall. Seems pretty well balanced. He's well balanced in being bad. Honestly, you know what's crazy? He doesn't look that bad. Like, it's almost confusing to look at. Like, what is it that's really bringing his overall down? Because speed, sorry, it's got to just be awareness, right? Is that really all it is? 
like awareness just bringing down the overall like really look at those attributes and tell me man that guy looks terrible 88 speed 90 acceleration could be worse 84 agility 84 stiff arm 82 trucking 82 carrying 79 ball carrier vision 81 juke high 70s for strength and change of direction spin boost is 65 that's a 62 overall doesn't feel bad Jalen Wooden last pick of the draft he's a tackle normal dev of course 60 overall he's strong and he can pass block nice impact blocking he doesn't get injured oh look at that stamina 98 he's going to be on the field letting up sacks the entire game so good for him on that but that's going to be our draft so Jalen Davis and Jalen Collins just don't exist anymore like it's a little peculiar I'll give you that review of it it's a little peculiar but I don't know what to do about it they just don't exist but I turned off the minimum roster size requirement. So there are still some guys like Adam Shaheen. I guess we can cut then. I'm taking big cap penalties to cut a lot of these guys. But there are no guys named Jalen that play offensive line in the NFL right now other than the guys I have. There's Jalen Moore and there's Jalen Mayfield. And there's Jalen Deiter. <laughs> and who's this? Jalen Jones the defense though we got that rocking full Jalen secondary and linebacking core and D-line we have no depth and Kadir Holloman is playing CB4 it should be more right but maybe I'll move Jalen Watkins to corner the fact that Jalen Collins and Jalen Davis just retired from the NFL in like week six a little annoying Two and five at the midseason mark. We need Kansas City offense to carry this team a little bit more. I get that it's really bad. I get that, but I don't I don't like it. <laughs> Solomon Kinley is back, by the way. Raekwon, I cut these guys. I have autofill roster off. Stop signing guys. Let me run my trash team of everyone in the league named Jalen. Stop trying to influence it. Let me lose, okay? See you at the playoffs, which I don't think we're going to be taking part in, if I'm honest. 4-13, and 13, we're getting worse, which, you know what? Maybe that's the breakthrough point. You got to get worse before you can get better. Is that how that works? No, it isn't. That's okay. That's okay. Whatever. <laughs> we may or may not figure it out. That's where we are. Jalen Hurts, pretty good year. 4,400 yards, 29 touchdowns, 12 picks, rushing. We have no running game. A lot of Jalen's on the team, though, so that's something. Jalen Rager, 1,500 yards, or yards shy. 13 touchdowns. Jalen Waddle was very good, too. I have Jalen Rager in the slot because I want him to get star development. He's got to get star dev after that year. I mean, you figure he has to, right? Defensively, Jalen Smith with a heck of a year. Seven and a half sacks. Led the way. I almost wonder if he was playing rush end instead of Jalen Phillips. Because the CPUs changed some things on me. Really frustrating. But it is what it is. I can't change anything like that. I could go every single week, simulate week by week. But I have it turned off. The CPU should just say, oh, he's got that turned off. We're not going to screw with it then. But they don't do that. 2022 season recap the Chiefs beat the Niners and Willie Gay is your Super Bowl MVP Zeke wins MVP offensive player of the year though goes to Alvin Kamara AD another defensive player of the year Pat Huggins of the Saints wins offensive rookie of the year and Edward Shepard of the Raiders takes defensive rookie of the year home we're in a decent spot though you know why because how can I lie to you guys Maybe the draft will have some Jalen's. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, there you go. Jalen Ramsey's going to go up to a 99 overall. Did he regress or something? Are we that deep? He's 28. He shouldn't be regressing as a superstar X Factor. But he is. But he is. What? Oh, that's insane. He's 28 game. And he's a superstar X Factor. Why is he regressing? CPU signed Raekwon Davis back again. I hate it. Jalen Thompson's 
doing pretty well for us though. 80 overall, only 25. How about a seven year deal? And Jalen Richard back long term as well. So Richard, Ferguson, and Jalen Thompson all are back. The rest can walk and probably get re signed by the CPU at some point. NFL draft time. We need some sick Jalen's. We have the number one overall pick. We also have number 31. Did I make a trade at some point? I guess this might be the Niners first round pick from trading up for Trey Lance. Did they have two years of firsts? Could be. Could be, honestly. I'm not really sure. Show me a sick Jalen. No, not in this bunch. No Jalen's at quarterback. That's okay. We need some big time playmakers somewhere. I'm just worried. If this is a draft class completely devoid of Jalen's, I'm going to be super sad. Because we need something to turn this team around. And I'm not seeing any Jalen's. This is concerning. Is Does that count as Jalen? It's going to count. Because that could be pronounced Jalen. That's going to be Jalen. All right. Jalen Bowers. We can get another offensive lineman. That's very nice. Okay. Not ideal. There are two Jalen's in the entire class. And one of them is like... Somebody is dyslexic and was telling you how to spell Jalen. It's like, it's like right there. You wouldn't even know the difference if you look quickly, but it's not really it. It's like the letters are flipped. It, you know, it's Jalen. Jalen Sears could be worse, honestly, ranked in the top 200. What does he do well? <sighs> Nothing. Like, let's not even lie about it. And then Jalen Bowers out of Indiana also sucks. Doesn't get injured. That's what you can say about him. His highest ratings injury. We'll also just trade the rest of our picks for next year's picks. Hopefully there are more Jalen's there. Jalen Rager up to star dev. We love to see that. That is excellent. Jalen Trapp. He was the guy who I said he's like doesn't look bad, but he's a super low overall. It's probably better to play him than Jalen Richard. And even Jalen Samuels, really, at this point. Like, does he really look a whole lot better than Jalen Trapp, who's like minus 11 overall? I don't feel like he looks a lot better. It's a little confusing. It's a little confusing. But we do have another Jalen to play offensive line, right? Jalen Bowers. I'm going to slide him in. Where can he play? Center? Let's play him at left guard, though. Jalen Mayfield's a right. We'll play him at left. I don't know if we should throw Jalen Waddle back in the slot or keep Rager in there to try and get him superstar development. But this is the team. We got a lot of Jalens going on. Defensively, we still only have three corners named Jalen. Jalen Watkins is not a very high overall corner. Actually, you know what? I can do this. I can cut Isaiah Dunn. Dunn and done there. And... Now Jalen Watkins is back. We'll move him into CB4. Jalen Thompson would love to get him up to star dev. Would love for any of these guys on the defense to get upgraded. At this particular moment in time, it feels unlikely though. I will say that. Two and five. I'm trying to think like what, what can I really do differently here? I'm kind of limited, I would say because we can only use players with one first name. It's kind of brutal. Jalen Hawkins, Hurts, Rager, and Johnson are all back. It's what we got to work with. It, it ain't great, but it's honest work. Okay, 6 and 11 again. We are, we're moving back. We started, we set the baseline, we went down a little bit. Now is the meteoric rise of the Jalens. The army of Jalens is taken over. Watch out. Watch out. We got guys like Pat Huggins in the top three for, for passing leaders. I don't know why that's such a funny name to me, but it is. Jalen Hurts needs to take that next step up. He's close, I think. He's close. Not quite there yet. This is not a bad year. Rushing, man, we've got no running game at all. <laughs> really bad stuff from this group of characters. Receiving, Jalen Rager led the team in yards and TDs. 
Jalen Stevens had a pretty good year for a tight end. Jalen Waddle in there as well. Wow. Jalen Smith, 144 tackles, 10 for loss, three and a half sacks. Very good year from a production number standpoint. 19 tackles for loss for Jalen Twyman. Five sacks for Jalen Ferguson led the way. Not great. Not great. But you know what? I want to say that this is progress. Is that true, though? I want to say that it is. McCaffrey takes home MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. TJ Watt, Defensive Player of the Year. James Burke, quarterback for the Vikings, Rookie of the Year, Offensively, and the Ravens with Alexander Waters get the Defensive Rookie of the Year. Yeah, our rookie Jalens aren't performing as great as maybe I would like them to. Did anyone get upgraded with a dev trait? Jalen Rager maybe to Superstar would be awesome. Nope. Jalen Hurts can't get even star development. I think he's so close to a breakout year, it just hasn't happened yet. We've seen no movement defensively. Get Stop signing players, please. Let me keep my guys. They suck, but you know what? They're my guys. Hey, it's Joe DiMaggio. Who, who are some of these people? I mean, no Jalen's here. You know, we're not the worst team in the league somehow. <laughs> you figure that we might be. We aren't. Dude, imagine if I didn't get the pause off in time and you saw number one overall is somebody named Jalen. <laughs> that would be super sad. Hopefully there's somebody at the top named Jalen. It's another year of pain. Hey, there's a Jalen, Jalen Ferguson. And we have a Jalen Ferguson on the team already. This one spells his first name very differently. J-A-E-L-E-N, Jalen Ferguson. But that will certainly be a draft pick. Oh, another Jalen. This one's actually not bad. Fourth round. We'll take that. Jalen King. Okay, so those are the only Jalens. Jalen Ferguson. More quarterbacks. But our offensive line will be complete with this Jalen. So we're looking pretty good. Jalen, let's say Jalen King first. Third round guy. Oh, hidden Tev. That's what I'm talking about. Jalen King, 68 overall, rank number 113. Uh, we took him at what, 15? Seven. Ah, that's <laughs> not great. But you know what? He's going to develop quickly. I'm into what? I don't know, but star dev minimum? That's a win. And Jalen Ferguson, the quarterback, welcome. 64 overall. What does he have going for him? Rocket arm? Kind of. You know, there's some stuff there. <laughs> some stuff. Defense? You know, it's uh it's coming along. Maybe the offense starting to look the, pretty similar, but it's slightly improved. And now we have an offensive line full of Jalen's. That's nice. Plus, we'll have star development in the middle. Move King to center. Jalen King. In case you guys forgot his first name, I'm always here to help. But that's the team. Ooh. Got to make sure my proper depth chart positions are in there as well. Like rush end, Jalen Ferguson and Jalen Phillips. Okay, that's what we need. And then slot receiver. Let me put Jalen Waddle in there. Let's try the best guy in there for once. Rager can be the slot two, like that'll ever get used. Oh, and eight. You know, that isn't where I would, I you know, I hoped we'd be. King, of course, is star dev. You don't look much like a Jalen. You're a Joe. You know what, Joe? You can stay. And then defensively, you are not a Jalen either. Anton Montague. All right. Stop signing players, please. You know, if... Uh, where is Jalen Reeves Maven? If our Jalens would get good enough to not be replaced every five seconds, the CPU, despite having autofill turned off, keeps signing to Quan Graham. And I mean, guys that don't belong on this team, you need to be named Jalen. Those are the qualifications and the requirements. CPU release Jalen Reeves Mabin. I'm going to freak out with this challenge, dude. That's why we have to keep these random backups who are not named Jalen, because otherwise the CPU goes crazy with signing guys. Just has to be the way it is, unfortunately. 4 and 13. You know, I thought we were ready for a meteoric rise. Turns out 
Nope. Although, Jalen Hurts is starting to put up really good numbers. 4,700 yards. He's 27. He's getting decent. 30 TDs, 8 picks, rushing. Still don't have much of a rushing game. Although, receiving Jalen Waddle put up 1,600 yards and 12 touchdowns. Rager was pretty good, too. Defensively, Jalen Smith is still carrying the defense. Seven picks I saw for somebody. Probably going to be Jalen Ramsey. Quarterback sacks four for Jalen Phillips led the way. That's terrible. And then, of course, yeah, Jalen Ramsey was seven. Jalen Hawkins had five. Not in the playoffs, though, at four and 13. That, that record will rarely get you. I don't want to say never. <laughs> no, but rarely will get you into the playoffs. Browns win the Super Bowl. We don't have anyone featuring in the yearly awards. Not ideal. I'm thinking that this is not going well. I don't know if you guys have picked up on that at all, but it's not going well. I'm going to guess that Jalen Waddle now has superstar X Factor. Tell me Hurts got star. Please. Nope. Waddle is up to superstar X Factor, though. Nobody else got upgraded on offense. Jalen Phillips up to superstar. Jalen Smith up to star. And Taquan Graham is back. Why would Jalen Phillips get upgraded? when he was just terrible. Don't know. Ooh, a lot of big time Jalen's to resign. That's okay, we'll bring him back. And Jalen Waddle's back. All the Jalen's are back from Darden all the way to Waddle. It's a pretty good group, actually. It's a pretty good group. I actually think we are, we are gonna be in a position pretty soon. It all revolves around Jalen Hurts actually improving. It really does. If Jalen Hurts can be good, I think the rest of the team's going to perform well. We're in Kansas City offensive playbook. We really just need a couple more players, maybe a little bit more development. Regression's going to be really, really awful. I'd love for Jalen Hurts to get star dev. I think next year it's possible. We need a Jalen or two in the draft. We really need a Jalen or two in the draft. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Oh, Jalen Dobson. Oh, that's that's like that's so painful. <laughs> uh, Jalen inside the top seven, and guess what? He is a third round player. Great. Oh, there's a Jalen Whitfield, J A Y L E N. He's really bad. Cool. I see Zach Wilson's made the uh, change to kicker after his last start against the New England Patriots. Probably not a bad idea, but there is one Jalen in the entire class. It's Jalen Dobson, and it's not going to help us out that much. Maybe he has a good development trait because he's in the top 10 of the draft in terms of where he's projected to go, but he's really bad, so I doubt it. Yeah, he sucks. What does he do well? He's he got a lot of stamina. All right. Oh, yeah, Jalen Whitfield, the running back, was also named Jalen. However, because we had him on our draft board, the CPU auto-drafted him, which is nice. Even though I traded away, like, almost every other pick in the meantime. Now I got to release all these guys. I mean, who, what's his name? Jalen Dobson? Yeah. He doesn't even start. That's how sick this team is, full of Jalens. Watch out. That's kind of all I got on that one. Defensively... Team looks pretty simple. Jalen Hawkins up to star dev. But he's 28, so I'm not sure what his ceiling is. This is the team. I think... I think what we're going to do is put Waddle in the slot again. It gives us our best results offensively, so it's got to happen. 0-6. Oh this is looking a lot like Lions franchise. You just watched my gameplay series on the channel. You know... It couldn't be worse, actually. So I can't say that. What else can I say? Get Tony Jefferson's dumbass out of here. It's not it's Terrence. Whatever. Will we win a game? I hope so. <laughs> what is this video, dude? We're having fun, though. Oh, and 17. The perfect season. Jalen Hurts threw for 5,000 yards, though. On his Jameis Winston type beat. It's not a bad year. It's not a bad year. Threw the ball a lot. Rushing game. Not particularly existent. Jalen Waddle had 2,000 yards and 15 touchdowns. 
Jalen Waddle is good. Jalen Stevens over a thousand yards, eight TDs. Rager had seven touchdowns. Jalen Waddle literally set records for receiving yards in a season. Beautiful. Jalen Holmes, 16 tackles for loss. Twyman as well. Sacks five and a half for Phillips. What a year. Our defense is so bad. Two interceptions for Jalen Ramsey led the way. Man, what a what a bad team this is. Ooh, Black Monday, they're going to fire me. I'm not clicking that. You can't fire me. Jalen Hurts finally up to star dev. Look at Jalen Stevens. Jalen Stevens up to star. We'll take that. But Jalen Hurts, could he be the franchise quarterback? He's 28. Tell me he's not regressing, please. Please. Doesn't look like it. Hopefully he doesn't. Because his team has real potential with him at star dev. 80 overall. Deep accuracy likely never going to get even even to the 80s, but maybe it will. Maybe it will. And then defensively, I don't see any changes. No yearly awards, anybody. That's all right. Brought back every Jalen. Jalen Stamper, the QB. Jalen Trapp, the running back. Jalen Wooden are now a decent-ish right tackle. Jalen Vincent, Jalen Stevens, Jalen Smith, Jalen Ramsey. Doing great. All right, this will likely be our last draft just because this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe it won't be. Cedric de Carvalho. What a name. Looks pretty good, too. Would probably draft him in a different scenario. But we are on the prowl for Jalen's. I don't like the way I said that. But we're looking for Jalen's. Slightly better, I guess. Better than prowling. You don't want to be on the prowl for anybody. It's all Jelani. That doesn't count. Another tight end, Jalen Humphreys. Gotta love it when there's a Jalen who's undrafted, and that's the best option right now. That's great. Jalen Easley, we, ooh, second round guy. J and he's really strong. Jalen Easley might be okay. That might be our number one overall pick. Oh, another Jalen. D-tackle, we could use depth there. I feel like we haven't had any defensive players named Jalen. Like, I expected to see some corners based on how many Jalens we had at corner going into this. Zero so far we got a kenyan but no <laughs> no jalen's on defense until this draft all right two jalen's three jalen's all right this is gonna be i don't know what i can say about it it's not ideal still jalen easily 72 overall hidden development right guard this is the peak of the rebuild he's actually decent Jalen Davidson, the D-tackle. Man, he's really bad. Is that what this draft class is? That he's a draftable guy? Can't wait to pick up whoever this tight end is. Man, that's going to be great. There's an 80 overall running back. But you know what? I'm going to take the next pick. Strap in. Because we got Jalen Humphreys. 56 overall tight end that we took at 33. That's the draft. Wow. That was electric. I'm going to have to cut a 78 overall quarterback drafted near the end of the third round. Oh, I mean, that was brutal. I had to cut Chance Clinton, who the CPU drafted. Hidden development. It's probably star, but I want to check just because of glutton for punishment, I guess. Can't even check it. All right. So easily is going to start at right guard. I feel like that's pretty good. Jalen Mayfield's almost an 80. Do I want to get anybody else involved? Look at King, by the way. Jalen King's up to a 78 overall star dev super young can't run block at all but that's okay we don't need him to the team's actually developing maybe we don't have to call this the final year maybe we'll do one more where are oh, there's jalen ferguson why would they think that starting tim richard instead of jalen ferguson would be the best idea i have no idea is jalen ferguson regressing that badly he is 30 and has never been good. I can understand their uh, frustration there. Got to cut Zach Pippen as well. Get off the team. Actually, I probably I probably should have lowered him on the depth chart. And that was it. I'll do that for Jalen Jelks. Just so... He's not Jalen Ewing. You're going to have to use your imagination. Just so the CPU doesn't sign guys and totally reorder my depth chart. We're going to keep it like that. Is this a Jalen? Yeah, this is... Oh, yeah. Like G... Jalen, Jalen Sear, whatever, Jalen, <laughs> Jalen, I don't know, 
But um, Jalen Jelks cannot be better. Where's Jalen Smith, by the way? Gone. That's why they were doing that. No Jalen Smith. He retired. All right. Well, that's where we are. Five and 12. Not a great season, but you know what? It's better than going 0 and 17. We can look at that. Jalen Hurts took a step back this year, which is a little depressing, I would say. Jalen Vincent, we still don't have a running game. That's never going to change. Jalen Rager just can't be my slot guy. He doesn't perform close to where Jalen Waddle does. I got to keep Waddle in the slot for the success of the team, I think. Jalen Rees Maben had 145 tackles. Jalen Phillips, seven and a half sacks. Three picks for Jalen Rees Maben and Jalen Ramsey, who's still hanging at his overall for the most part. He is still regressing, but he's still mid to upper 90s. Cowboys beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl 41 40. And the Panthers, well, the MVP, Coach of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Aaron Donald is on the Panthers now. The Panthers took home every yearly award except for Defensive Rookie of the Year. All right. This will probably be the last NFL draft because I feel like, like the good Jalens we have are going to end up progressing. And the problem is usually to combat that, I'll bring in younger players in free agency or through the draft. We don't really have that option. So we are banking completely on there being good Jalens in here, but we have Oliver and Andrew. That's not what I need. We need Tim McGraw. You know, we got a great country singer in here. That's going to solve everything. <laughs> we need Jalens. Now this is close. We have a Jaqueline. If we could just take out the Q, I think we could get away with it. Jawalen? That's almost there. Even take out the W, maybe. We got a J. Well, that's Jalen for sure. But unfortunately, it's just not quite it. There are no Jalen so far in the entire draft. Maybe there will be some DBs. There's a Jaden. Oh, there, there are no Jalens. There's a Jalen, finally, corner. He sucks. That's our pick. Oh, hold on. Another Jalen, the last safety in the draft. He fits the scheme, though, so, okay. All right, here we go. Jalen Wheatley. Uh, he accelerates pretty well. Jalen Hayes. Maybe he's better. He is... Is he better? I don't know. I don't remember the other overall. And it happened uh, maybe eight seconds ago. That's the memory span around here. It isn't ideal. Jalen Reeves Maben got up to star dev. He's also a 61 overall. So I don't really know what to do about that. Jalen Hayes is 5'11", 221. You might see a safety. I see a linebacker. Yep. He's a 55 overall there. And he's going to play a lot. That's that's where I am on that. Are right, you seeing the team? This is probably the final year. The team has improved. We're up to a 78 overall. Offense into the almost mid-80s, and it will be by the time the end of the season rolls around. Oh, is Jalen Waddle in the slot? I don't know if he is. Hold on. We're 4-1, and one, by the way. <laughs> that is excellent. I almost don't want to change it if Jalen Waddle's not in the slot. He is in the slot. I made the change. That's what it is. We're 4-1. That's like borderline unbelievable. I'm in on that though. And we missed the playoffs, went seven and 10. It really felt like there was a lot of potential there for a second. I was, uh, I was very fooled. Jalen Hurts did throw for 49 touchdowns. I'm gonna do another year. This is one of the, it's like a, uh, like a car crash. You can't look away. I need to see what this team can do. And Jalen Hurts had 50 total touchdowns. Jalen Waddle, 1,700 yards and 17 TDs. These are really, really good numbers. Our defense is just so, so bad. It's so bad. But I think Jalen Hurts throwing for 49 touchdowns, leading the league. He probably goes up to superstar dev. Missing the playoffs is tragic. But we had... 
you know, last place defense in every category. No rushing game per usual, but offensively, our passing game was so amazing. Points per game was 17th. I just don't know a way to improve the defense. That's where we are on that. I have no idea how to. Chiefs beat the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. TJ Watt, Defensive Player of the Year in 2027. I mean, I guess it's not that far away, but seven years down the line. Good for TJ Watt, who's probably into his early to mid-30s at this point. Only needed to bring back two Jalens, and we got them both back. Did Jalen Hurts get Superstar? Please. He did. I mean, pretty predictable, I suppose. Did he regress? I hope not. I hope he didn't. He did regress slightly, but he did get Superstar. And those regressions, they don't look too big. This is probably the final year, though. This is make or break. Our O-line really doesn't look too bad. Tight end doesn't look too bad either. I mean, Jalen Stevens casually now 28. 82 overall star dev. Pretty good. Receiving core. Jalen Rager really never got good, but that's all right. Jalen Hawkins up to superstar. But he's not getting better. He's getting worse. Is this a Jalen Portis? It's not. It's Jose. Well, all right. I need a really awesome Jalen or two in the draft. Two would be awesome. Two would be really, really awesome. And it's looking like a nice... Oh, there's another Jaqueline. It's like... <laughs> can I count it? I really can't. It's just not Jalen. There's a Jalen. Beef up the D-line a little bit. Jalen Hatchet. Things are not looking good. <laughs> not at all. Jelani's close. Once again, it just isn't quite there. And there, I believe, is only one Jalen in the entire class. Yeah, this is a video that should be coming to an end. I think... I think you could have said that as soon as I introed, to be honest. There goes a Bryce. Ugh. All right. Here we go. 67 overall for Jalen Hatchet. It's a big upgrade over Jalen Jelks. It actually is a massive upgrade. Oh, that's super fun, dude. The CPU drafted two star plus development players. And I'm going to cut now. Because they're going to take the play time of my Jalen's away. Show me some sick development traits. All right, star. Not going to feel too bad about this one. Greg Turner, though. How much is this one going to hurt? Please be star. I don't even know why I'm checking. Why do I do this to myself? Yep. Yep. He's a superstar. I, don't worry. Uh, I'd rather play Jalen Twyman and Jalen Davidson. I think that would be best for our team. Enjoy free agency. Who knows if anyone will even sign you. We're going to start 59 overall, Jalen Rees mabin and 59 overall, Jalen Hayes. Jalen Ferguson's down to a 64 overall. What a, what a group of guys. This is the final team. I need Jalen Hurts to have a huge season. Jalen Waddle's going to be in the slot. I need Jalen Hurts to go off. He has to be amazing. The defense is really, really, really bad. It's holding the team back significantly i need to make the sub linebackers the jalens they are just so bad at football at this point it hurts and six and eleven is our final record never got better than six and eleven and we were worse a lot of the time it's not really a great end to the video but it is true it is true Jalen Hurts with a pretty good year. I think you'd take that. I mean, they're really good numbers. No running game. Would have been probably better off playing Jalen Waddle at running back. Although he was unreal as a receiver. But with 90 ball carry vision, he actually could have given us a running game. If I had to do it again, I maybe would consider doing that. Jalen Thompson, great year for him. This team was just too limited. I think it was a fun video to try out, you know? Just see what we could do with something like this. The draft really let us down. There were just a lot of bad players in there. <laughs> There's really where our offensive line ended up being pretty good, and we'll include the tight end as an extension of that. Jalen Ferguson and Thompson both finally get up to star dev. I think it's a little too late for that, but that's going to do it for the video. That's rebuilding a team full of Jalens. 
And uh, so, yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Take it easy. Back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.